What's up, Space Cadets? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. So today, we are going to get the Janus into space. Um, what are we going to do? We get into space? Well, that's very simple. We're going to go for Aristrium and Zycosium, all right, which is on one of these two plants. Here, let's take a look really quick, just so I know. Uh, plan Actually, let's look at the system first. All right, so nothing there. Although I could I could go for some more Promethium, but probably not really overly needed. Um, I do need some more, uh, what do you call it, Neodymium? I don't think there's any Neodymium around here. Okay, is there Neodymium here? No. All right, we might have to go to this area first and get some more Neodymium. Remember I found a, a Neodymium mine? So I think we're going to hit over there. Uh, we're going to get Neodymium. And is there anything else I want in there? Doesn't look like it. Probably just neodymium. And then we're gonna come over here. And Zycosium is on one of these one of these planets. I don't remember which. Let's go to the planet sector info. And it's not that one. Uh not that one. Not the moon. There it is. We gotta go to Simos or Simos or Simos, where the hell that planet's called. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Multiple anti-aircraft turrets detected. Oh boy. Maybe I'll leave my main. Maybe I'll leave the uh, the Janus in space and I'll go down with my uh, with my vehicle and try and avoid. I'm, I'm just going to be trying to avoid issues and get Zycosium and Aristrium. They might be guarded. I don't know what we're going to do. This thing is pretty good, but it's it's not like really that great. Um, I could probably add some missile turrets on it or something. I don't know if I can make a lot of missiles. We'll just kind of have to see. The first thing we have to do is install the medium thrusters. I prefer to install the large thrusters, but I, I got what I got. Uh, nothing I can do about it. Um, and that's part of the cool, that's the really cool part of this base is that, you know, if you're not up to the point where you can, you know, uh, make certain things, it's perfectly fine. And, uh, you know, you can just get there when you get there. If you can only make medium thrusters, they'll still work. And you just put in the better ones, you know, when, when you can. And I love that. That's so great. All right. So in order to make these uh, thrusters work, we have to take out these blocks right here. All right. These are just, um, these are just here to, you know, make the ship look good uh, before you get the thrusters in. Because otherwise it would just look weird. There we go. And I think I'm supposed to take them all out, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Let's see what we got underneath. All right, so there's nothing underneath. So we just put them right there. I think this thing's made for the large thrusters, so these medium thrusters aren't going to look quite as good. Um, I think what I can do is I can do the slants, or I could just put them in like this and deal with it. So I didn't make enough thrusters. Not only did I not make enough thrusters, I don't have enough neodymium to make more thrusters. Now, I don't want to go out and get neodymium in my little crappy small vessel. I want to get this thing up there and take this to go get the neodymium, but I'm going to have to make 12 thrusters to be able to lift this thing. Uh, I don't know if it's possible. I'm going to give it a shot. Here's the problem. My other problem. So many problems. Here's my other problem. All right. The, what do you call it? The, yeah, the cockpit small vessel also takes neodymium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the drop base container controller. And then I'm going to put stuff in here that I think will give me neodymium. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. I do have the gravity generator. I could probably put that in for neodymium. I do have an advanced constructor. I could put that in for definitely the advanced constructor. I don't think a small generator will give it to me, but whatever. And I don't need these like these this crap anyway. So uh, you know what? Though I want that stuff to come to me quicker. All right. So there's all my machines. That's it. By the way, I um I separated in the Janus. I separated all the containers and the machines. Construction materials um, and weapons and tools. So I don't have as much stuff as I thought. That sucks. Okay. I'm going to basically what, I, what I'm what i in right now, I'm in my drop base and I have the deconstructor. So I'm going to sacrifice the gravity generator. Um, I could just stay in my seat when I'm in space. I mean, I want a gravity generator, but I don't, it's not as important as the, as the cockpit because I can't do anything without the cockpit. So let's sacrifice the gravity generator. I don't need a small thruster. Although... I mean, it could help, right? And I don't think I'm going to get Neodymium from a small thruster anyway. I'll think about that in a moment. Let's come to this base. Let's um, turn it on. Uh, power. And then we go to the deconstructor. And once you, I think once you pick a container, it'll automatically deconstruct everything that's in there. Is it not on? Maybe it's not on. All right. Hold on. Let's take a look. Deconstructor active and there you go it will take everything down i'm not getting anything i need for it though i don't know what it took apart first uh probably i don't know i don't know what it took apart first anyway it's gonna i i think you get 100 of the resources back but i'm not i'm not totally sure on that 
Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. Flux coils. I also need oscillators. Mm, we might we might get there. We might get there. All right. So I think this thing takes up a lot of power as well. Eh, 16%. I'm sure it'll be fine. I love the deconstructor. Love it. So I got everything I need to make the cockpit easy. So let's go place that down right now. Cockpit. We should probably have the output of this not be the same as the input. Let's do it. Let's have the out output be machines. Kind of makes more sense that way. I'm making more thrusters because I now have the uh, materials I need. I don't really, I mean, the gravity generator is kind of important, but it's not as important as the thrusters. Not right now. All right, here we go. And the cockpit. I'm guessing that's where the cockpit's supposed to be. I'm not sure which way it's, yeah, faces that way. All right. Seems like a good spot for a cockpit. All right. One other thing I wanted to ask you guys, uh, I kind of remember in my jumbled, messed up memory of a freaking brain, uh, are RCSs needed anymore? Because there's no RCSs on this ship. Uh, there's no RCSs on my small vessel. There's no RCSs here. I looked in the information for the Janus. Um, doesn't mention RCS anywhere that I could see. Uh, but you can still make RCSs. So what's the point? Why are they, why are they in here? Because I don't think you need them. Because I looked everywhere on this thing. I couldn't find them. I think I remember something about an update that made RCSs not be needed anymore. But why are they still in the game? It's kind of weird. Alright, so we got... Uh, how many more? So there's nothing in here. So it must have went to machines. Um, we got two more thrusters. Okay, so we got three total. Okay, so I'm putting down the thrusters in a very haphazard... I just want to get into space at this point. So I'm going to put down thrusters wherever I think I need them. And we'll see if we can get into space. So this is what I got going on right now. Okay. And this is what my statistics look like. And this is like, I am very, um, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here is what I'm trying to say. But I think if all in all directions, I've got some speed, I should be okay. Now, when this points backwards, does that mean, does that mean the thrusters are shooting backwards, which will move me forward at 18 meters a second? I guess. I hope so. Let's just find out. I'll, I'll do a, a backup save just in case this goes horribly wrong. All right, so let's get up in the cockpit. See if we can get the space. Okay, uh, let's move this back. Page down. Uh, you can't hold it down. You gotta actually press it. There we go. Got my arcade button fingers going there. That looks pretty good. All right, and let's see if we can go to space. All right, I'm just gonna go straight up here. I don't want. By the way. I put the thrusters really ugly, uglyly laid down. Um, is that a word? That's not a word. The thrusters are ugly. And that's okay because they're not going to be anywhere near permanent. Let's just get the space. Uh, I think if I lean back and kind of shot up into space, I might go a little bit faster. But I don't know. I'm okay with this. Let's just be very careful here. Get the space. Once we're in space, things will be a lot easier. And I do have fuel with me. I have food. I should be good to go. Uh, although I didn't put turrets on this thing. So, uh, I'm not going to, like, get into any craziness. Alright, I'm going to put a helmet on just in case the oxygen is not working as intended. Alright, so let's just stop right here. I don't have a gravity, gravity generator, unfortunately. So, let's get out and let's fly through here. Now, is how do you tell if it's pressurized? I guess I could just do this and see if I lose health. I, I know there's a way. Here, um, debug, show oxygen. Hmm. Huh. I thought it's supposed to, like, show, like, oxygen levels. Like, there should be O's everywhere and stuff. Not really sure. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. I'm now on the outside of the ship, and I'm going to put down some turrets. Oh, I forgot I had rail guns. I'll bet you I could could have deconstructed that. By the way, you can't put deconstructors on capital vessels, which kind of sucks, honestly. I might look for a mod for that. Yes, I know Reforged Eden you can, but I'm not playing Reforged Eden. But I would like maybe some kind of mod to allow us to put deconstructors on capital vessels because it's kind of dumb <clears throat> that you can't. I guess they want you to make bases. I don't really see any reason to make bases at this point, <laughs> except for stuff like that. All right. So what kind of guns do I want to put down? I think I'm just going to put down the uh, the mini guns, or I could go every other. I'm assuming I'm assuming cannon turrets are useful for something. All right. Damage 550, 170 RPM. Ro yeah, they've got different rotation speeds. So this thing, th this thing does um, 550 damage. This does 425. 
This thing shoots at 171 rate rates, what, rate per minute. Uh, this shoots faster and does more damage. This has rotation speed of 150. This Wait, what the hell would I need a cannon turret for? Range? This is 7, 785. This is 875. That's a very small amount of range. I think the minigun turrets are the way to go. Alright. I will eventually take these blocks out and put uh, retractable minigun turrets down. But I think for now I'm just going to put them down like this. And I'm going to put them down um, there. Yeah, I mean that, that little bit of extra range. I don't know. It doesn't really seem worth it considering these things shoot faster and do more damage. Let me know if there's something I'm missing. And we're going to put some on the bottom too. And you simply put these wherever there's uh, there's these little markings. And we'll put that down there. That down there. We'll put this one facing this way. And that way. I guess I might as well just put them all down. To hell, they'll put a couple more up top. Um, one right there. And oh, there's no space for them in the back. Interesting. Well, we got the back covered here, but we don't have the back covered on top. Whoops. I don't know if that really matters. I guess probably not. I don't know what this big square here is for. Maybe that's for like a giant turret. Maybe like um, uh, like uh, what do you call it? Uh, bombarding? No, not bombarding. There's a word for it in this game. Uh, artillery. Yeah, maybe it's for artillery. Well, whatever. Let's get back down here, load them up with ammo, and let's uh, go ahead and go get us some neodymium. We are flying our way towards the neodymium asteroid which is going to be awesome. Uh, and then after this, we're going to go out to the other planet and try and get some Ristream and stuff like that. Um, I need a Neodymium, though, to make more thrusters. Uh, I wonder, you know, I think with the Neodymium, no, I can't make the um, the medium. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with these thrusters with the way they are. They seem to be getting the job done. Um, I could add some more medium thrusters, but I kind of want to wait for the large thrusters because right here, capital vessel, if you take a look at the thrusters, the medium thrusters, I could make more of if I had Neodymium. But I really want to make this kind, so I think we will just wait to make the large thrusters. This thing moves, you know, it's all right. It's not too bad. Um, and as I float towards the Neodymium asteroid, I'm thinking to myself, I'd really like to be able to walk around my ship. You know, I really would. Also, I'd like the lights to stay on. But um, yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to be able to walk around my ship, and I can't. And the reason I can't is because this game will not let you walk around ships while you're moving. At least I, I assume that's the way it used to be. That's what it used to be, and I don't feel comfortable enough to test it because usually when you get out of your, your seat, bad stuff happens. Oh, I, if I'm wrong, let me know. That would be awesome. But I think it would be really cool to, like, point in a direction and start going in that direction and then, like, um, just keep floating and, and you can walk around your base. You could you could craft. You could build. You could do all the stuff that, you know, you normally do when you're just sitting on a planet, like, not even moving. And it would be cool if you could do it while moving. And again, if you can, let me know because, um, I don't like I said, I don't feel comfortable enough to do it right now. Maybe I'll test it out at some point, but yeah, so that would be really cool. And also maybe have some kind of AI or some kind of computer system in your ship that will uh, sense an upcoming asteroid when you're getting to your destination, kind of slow you down so you don't crash into it and stuff like that. You know, um, also I would love to get mining lasers on this thing, um, but I can't because I'm not high enough level. If you look at capital vessels here, uh, uh, no, not those. Yeah, this. I want the drill module laser. I still need quite a few levels. I need like three more levels. But I can use the tool turrets. I think you can use the tool turret to mine. It's not as good as the as the uh, mining laser, but you know, it'll get the job done for the time being. I'd really like to make a gravity generator as well. So let's come around here. Yep, yeah, there we are. You guys remember this place? Now, I'd like to get closer, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around, I'm going to turn around like this, and get as close as I can. That looks pretty good to me. Alright, now let's get out of the seat. Nope, don't turn that off. Get out of the seat, and let's see if we can get out there. By the way, flying around your jetpack is like the worst <laughs> in this place. Um, it's just awful. So you really want to kind of, you know, deal with that. Alright, so we are going to lock ourselves into... Um, construction materials and start mining some neodymium by hand like a commoner Ugh. all right well it, it is what it is we'll get it done so I went ahead and got down the gravity generator and I put it up here right right where it's supposed to go and that's awesome more importantly I figured out my oxygen issues okay now what you have to do is you guys probably told me what I have to do but just in case you don't know 
um, what you have to do is you come into the main panel and you simply turn on oxygen. You have to turn that on. It's not on by default. So got that taken care of. It also used like half my oxygen, which is, you know, fine. Put some more in there. No big deal. And more importantly, check this out. I told you it shows oxygen. Isn't that cool? I love the way it shows oxygen. Also, if you want to know air block, airtight blocks, that'll show airtight blocks. So if you see a block that's not airtight, um, you know that um, oxygen can get through there. So that's awesome. So not only will that allow me to take my helmet off and breathe in here, but it will allow me to start planting crops. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to pick this stuff up. Okay. And I think this is all... Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's a big deal, though. I'm pretty sure these are all supposed to all supposed to be gone. So let's go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be two 3 by 3s So that's one, two, three, four. Yep, it, each window is two. That's six. So we're, I did go ahead and make a bunch of growing plots. I made more than I needed, but that's okay. Not really overly concerned with that. And then we're going to go ahead and put these down. And then I have to choose what I would like to plant. By the way, I was wrong about this drill. It doesn't say anything about damage. It says range, ammo, magazine, capacity, reload, time, durability, repairs, all that stuff. It doesn't say anything about damage. This thing goes through ore so much quicker than the regular drill. The epic drill is, uh, well, it's epic. Um, I was like, ah, it just had a little bit more range. But there should be like a damage stat or like a mining speed stat or something. Because, um... It's very misleading. Although I guess the word epic is kind of telling you all you need to know, but I like to see the numbers too, not just the word epic. Show me the numbers. So I think I mined all the neodymium off of that thing. Can't really tell because it doesn't have like a percentage um, like the ones on the planets do. Like if you look right here, it just says neodymium asteroid. I don't know if there's any more on there. I'm going to go look for ice, magnesium. I need magnesium for rockets. Uh, probably grab some cobalt as well. Ice, titanium, promethium. I'll probably gra grab some promethium. I'm assuming all that stuff is in here. We'll have to see. Let's kind of go right... And then I'm going to go and check out this asteroid. Asteroid... Is that an asteroid field? I guess it is. I mean, what else would it be? Yep. That's all that stuff that's in there. We're going to save the neodymium. We're going to save the... Oh, I got the neodymium, which is really needed. We're going to save the Zycosium and Aristrium for next episode. Uh, because I really want to go in here and see what's in here. Uh, there could be some fighting in here. I'm not really sure. I do have turrets, but they're not great turrets. Uh, I think I can make better turrets eventually. Let me just take a look right here. Capital vessels. All right. So I can make... Well, those are tools. That's repair base. Where I must have went by. There we go. So I'm guessing laser turrets are better than... Projectile turrets are way down here at level 7. Rocket turrets I can't make yet uh, because I don't have Zycosium. Um, there's the, I think I can make the laser turrets. See, this is what I'd like to do right now. I'd like to get up out of my ship and walk around while I'm my way, while I'm on my way to this little asteroid field here, but I can't really wish I could. Maybe I can. And I just don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. I'm sure I'm not going to take the chance though. I remember like a couple, like a couple times I got up in my ship back in the day, you'd like go fly off into space or up against the wall or something. It's just not worth it. getting pretty close. So let's go ahead and do the detector. And... Yeah, okay. So we got a bunch of ores in there. We got something floating around. And then we've got something right there. I should probably check that out. There we go. Uh, yep, it's right there. All right, cool. We will definitely check that out. I'm hoping... Uh, it, looks like it's per it looks like it's Polaris. And I'm hoping it might be a space station. Uh, which would be pretty cool. When you get to space stations, you can like check for service stations and you could use those service stations to kind of like um, refill your ship with things like um, ammo, fuel, stuff like that. And I think that would be really cool. Why did that disappear? Wait, sanctuary. Yeah, there, question mark. Oh, cause I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. Wait, am I going the wrong way? No, it's not. Hmm, I don't see it showing up. Uh, there's definitely something over there. Yeah, it's weird. The the flag, I'm pretty sure that's where I put the flag. If that's what I think it is, it's gonna be a it's gonna be an unbelievable find. That's what I was looking for. Oh my god, I can't believe this thing is still in the game. Oh my god. If this is the way it used to be, I'm about to I'm about to get all the goodies. I can't believe this is still in the game. 
this is the kind of stuff that really needs to be nerfed. I <laughs> mean, seriously. If it's the way I remember it. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. New ship. Okay. So let's get out and let's go check this out. Oh man, is this really what I think it's gonna be? Jetpack on. And let's come over and check this out. Yeah, this this thing is ridiculous. Now, who knows? Maybe it has been nerfed. But I doubt it. Alright, let's take a look. First of all, let's link up in here. We are good. We have plenty of room. Plenty of snipe rifles to sell. Although, I don't think these guys buy snipe rifles. Yep, there you go. Sathium, Promethium, Magnesium, Neodymium. And this guy's going to have Zarkosium and all that other stuff. Holy shit. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, dude, I can get crew? I forgot about that. Yeah, you can get these crew things. They don't do anything. They're just for show, but they look really cool. I'm not going to buy them right now, though, because it's not really that important. Um, what is important is Eristrium and Zycosium. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're hooked up to this. We are going to go here, press T, come into here, and buy some Zycosium. I'll just buy 200 for now. Let's not get greedy. Eristrium, yeah, this... This stuff needs to be nerfed. You should not be able to buy this stuff like this. I should have to go to a planet to get this stuff. Now, you might be saying, well, Cage, just don't buy it. I'm only human. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying my best, but it, you know, it is what it is. 500. We do have to watch our money here because I can only get so much stuff. Ooh, hydrogen bottle, O2 bottles. I should get some O2 bottles. Just get 50. Um, auto miner cores, um, EVA boost, or scanner man. I kind of want that medium armor, man, but I'm gonna. It's gonna kill me. The thing is, I know where to get. I know where to sell sniper rifles, but then I'd have to go all the way back there to sell sniper rifles. Let's hold off on that for now. All right, and neobodymium. Um, ten, twelve. How much is that? Seventeen sounds good. I don't remember seeing anything for aluminum. These materials and intermediate products. See template for... Really? Aluminum? I'm not buying aluminum because I don't know of anything I needed aluminum for. Um, Sathium, though. 1172. We need as much as we can get. And that's the big one right there. Magnesium as well. Um, so let's go ahead and buy 500. I'm going to run out of money here. I could buy it all. 1142. Okay. And I will spend the rest of my money on Zycosium and Eristrium. 200, 7,200, yep, sounds good. And, oh, I could buy more sa Sathium. All right, I'm going to stick with Zycosium for now. Five, oh, no, Eristrium. Did I just buy Zycosium? Yeah, I've got more Eristrium than Zycosium. So, yeah, I need Zycosium. 500, uh, 400, um, 200. All right, and we are now poor. Got to go sell those sniper rifles. All right, let's take a look around in here. Uh, actually, before we take a look around in here, let's go see what we can make with our newly found stuff. Because I'm telling you, man, like, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Awesome and not awesome. I feel guilty. I feel dirty, but not dirty enough not to use it. <laughs> All right. So what we need for this more than anything is thrusters. No, no, we don't need thrusters more than anything. What I want more than anything is the tool turret. Wait. I, I do have the Zycosium in there, right? Did I not have it in the right area? Hmm. Zycosium alloy. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me just, here, just do this. And then let's look in here. And there we go. Okay, so for some reason it didn't count when it was in my hotbar. All right, that tool turret will allow me to, uh, assuming it's the, the tool turret I remember, you like kind of get into it like it's an auto, like an auto turret and you just mine with it, you know? Um, and that will be good until I can get the laser turrets. I think you can also use it to deconstruct things. Should I make some rocket turrets? Eh, let's hold off on that for the for just just the time being. Let's see what else we can make. Oh, a polarized hull shield. Yes. Yes. Can I not make the tier 2 one yet? You take a look. I don't think I can. I think that was like a level 25. Um... Can, do, can these turrets fit on this ship? I don't think they can. I'll learn them anyway. 
tier two generator. I don't think I don't think this thing's made for this. So where's the um the tier two hull thingy? Oh no, it's right there. I didn't see it in there. Can I? Maybe I can't make it. Oh no, uh, that's the tier one. I'm not seeing the tier two. Well, there you go. Cannot be crafted in constructor. Must be upgraded from the tier one version. Okay, fair enough. So we will make the tier one version. Hull shield. Awesome. Now, what else did we want? I feel like a kid in a candy store. Uh, let's make some thrusters, some large thrusters, but not too many. Let's just make um 10. <laughs> not too many. Let's make 10. Yeah, I want to get those thrusters going. All right, guys. I am going to call this one here, though. We did get Zycosium. We got Aristrium. We got Sathium. We got everything from this OP mining area, which is just awesome. We're going to make thrusters. We're going to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, I might go mine some Aristrium and Zycosium anyway, just because I feel like I should. But we'll see. We will see. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. Anyway, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.